Massive thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way are your one stop solution for all of your DIY project needs. They offer all kinds of different PCB printing options, including multi layered PCBs and flexible ones. As well as that, they are now offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. Check out PCB Way using the link in the description. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here, welcome to my channel. I recently made a video reviewing these fake Game Boy Advance SPs from AliExpress, and the most popular comment was what's inside. And this video is that. I'm not gonna bother opening up this one because it's just gonna be a cheap Fami clone motherboard. It's really not gonna be much interest at all. The two more interesting ones are these. This one right here is an actual hardware clone. It's a Game Boy Advance hardware clone. You can see it does not look like a Game Boy Advance should when it turns on, whereas this one does. Now this is gonna just be an AGS-001 motherboard with an IPS display in the top, but we will definitely open it up and check it out and see what's going on inside just to be sure. And also it will be interesting to see the sort of quality of the uh, of the motherboard and if they refurbished it or repaired anything. And then this one is certainly going to be a lot more interesting. One thing that's kind of funny is you can s maybe see on the screen, let me see, hopefully you can, there's a small sort of like mark. You can just see it there, yeah where uh, the screen lens appears to be touching the screen. So that is the kind of quality you can guarantee from AliExpress. Right, so let's uh, let's grab the screwdriver kit. I'm gonna go with this one first because I think it's just gonna be a lot more interesting and I'm really excited to see what's actually going on inside of it. And then we'll check out what will almost certainly just be a regular Game Boy Advance motherboard with an IPS screen. And I'm not gonna be taking the, uh, the top halves of the Game Boys apart where the screens are because they're an absolute nightmare. So let's just, uh, let's crack this open. Let's void all the warranties, which I'm fairly certain is an illegal thing to do. But anyway, let's see what's going on inside. Now, you are right. I should have definitely shown this in the video. I think I just get a bit carried away with trying to please the general viewer who doesn't want to go in depth of what's inside an item and they just want to see it be reviewed but then I neglect all the people that do want to see the inside, including me. Like, I want to see what's inside here too. Um, so I'm wondering, actually, if it would be more interesting doing both at the same time, because realistically, this one's going to be a great thing to compare this to, because I'm fairly certain it's going to be an actual genuine Game Boy Advance SP. So let's actually do that. That would make more sense. Um, and then we can look at the two together. Now, I'm actually really pleased with this. And a lot of the other comments were, where can I buy this from? Now, that is a slightly trickier thing for me to do, um, to recommend the links of these AliExpress consoles because they almost, they change almost daily. So it's kind of pointless linking them. The best thing to do actually do is just go on AliExpress and search for it. I did put a, uh, an image up on the screen of the exact listing of this, so hopefully you can try and find it from that. One thing that I've already spotted, which is kind of weird, is there's a rogue screw here that is different to the rest. And all I've done is take out these four screws around the outside. So one of them, for some reason, is longer. That's actually quite risky because it can sometimes like poke up and damage the shell from the front. So not really sure how that's happened. Um, but anyway, we digress. Let's take off this screw here. And then there's actually another uh, quality control sticker on this one as well. Okay, so we can take off the battery compartment. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the batteries. Now, these look absolutely identical. This one is claiming to actually be a Game Boy Advance SP battery, which it could be, it could very well be. Uh, yeah, in fact, you know what? I reckon that is a legit battery. But then this one is just a copy of the battery, and I'm sure if we put it in here, it should work absolutely fine. Yeah, it does. So, as far as the battery is concerned, that is a complete uh, clone or copy. Okay, let's take this apart further. There's actually only one more screw. So this is actually a Russian clone, and this has already gone off of AliExpress because this is actually a clone product that a company is uh, making. So they're quite hard to get a hold of. Right, let's now pop this back off and set it up here. 
and we're going to do the same with this one. Okay, so there we have it. We are inside, and yeah, this is pretty much what I expected to see. So this one is actually a genuine Game Boy Advance SP motherboard, and this one right here is a complete copy. Now you might notice it has a big black inconspicuous blob. That this is done for two reasons. I think it's a slightly cheaper way of manufacturing a chip, but it's also done for um, anonymity, I think is the word, but basically to hide it from uh, from other people who might possibly try and copy this or, or something like that. But yeah, you can see the, the big black blob there. And I'm not sure exactly how this works, but this didn't play regular Game Boy games. So here's a uh, Monsters Inc. Game Boy Color game. If we slot that in here and put a little bit of power into this motherboard and turn it on, like so, it doesn't actually play the game. It will just sit on this screen like this. Now I think the reason for that is that the Game Boy Advance SP actually had a separate chip to run the original Game Boy games. Now that might be slightly wrong information. One thing I can say is, with certainty is that this right here is actually a switch that told the Game Boy when an original cartridge was plugged in. And you can see there the shape of this uh, cartridge here is slightly different. This is a perfect right angle, whereas this has a little notch cut out, which basically avoids that switch. So one thing we can do, if I take a screwdriver and press this switch down, and then somehow I'm gonna have to, this is gonna be impossible. Can you see there? Oh, <laughs> yeah, basically this uh, this switch here tells the Game Boy Advance. Oh, I've, I've broken the Game Boy. Sorry, Game Boy. <laughs> but yeah, you can see there that it, it switches it into uh, Game Boy mode. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting to see really inside these. Uh, one of them is a fake cheap motherboard and the other one is an original Game Boy Advance SP motherboard. I suppose the last thing we can quickly do is see the condition of, uh, well, we can flip this one over and just see the, the underside of it, and then we'll see the condition of the actual Game Boy motherboard, which is an old, original motherboard. We wanna see what that looks like. So yeah, it's, uh, it's basically a Game Boy Advance SP uh, shell with a fake motherboard inside of it, and presumably a fake, well, some cheaper screen that will, um, that will fit in here. I doubt very much that this company is manufacturing really anything other than this PCB, so, yeah, that is uh, hopefully interesting to all of you. It looks like the speaker's exactly the same as well, which again makes sense. Of course, they're gonna use a speaker that's gonna fit in this Game Boy shell, which would happen to be the original speaker, and companies are still making these now to sell them to nerds like me who have faulty speakers. So, there is the game box inside. We can basically now look at everything together. In fact, I'll just do that. Um, and let's take a look at this one here, which is the, the Game Boy Advance SP motherboard, uh, the actual official motherboard. And one thing I will do is have a look at the ribbon cable, which will tell us if it's a uh, just a regular IPS screen that you can buy, you know, like a mod screen that you can buy or if it's something else going on, and in which case we might have to dive in further. Also, apologies about the gross cuts on my thumbs. I've been doing a lot of gardening, and uh, basically I was digging and I got blisters. So yeah, sorry about that. Not digging with my hands, but the spade, and, and it just it just hurt me, okay? I don't know how else to explain it. So yeah, that's just a funny playing IPS screen. You can see this wire that's soldered over here so that the brightness controller actually um, controls the brightness on the uh, the screen. So yeah. That's just a regular Game Boy Advance SP motherboard, AGS001. Uh, nothing really too fancy going on there. It looks as though it's in good condition. I would say that the start and select has been changed. You can see they're slightly different colors. Um, or all of these have been replaced and the start and select is the same. Yeah, because this brightness is the same as the start and select. So yeah, not 100% sure on that, but definitely some work has happened to this but it's in very good condition, very clean, no rust, no corrosion, no dirt, 
no battery leak, nothing like that at all. It looks it looks really, really good. Um, so DK Oldies, you, you know, they might need to get some tips from that company, but yeah. Now I think the final thing I wanna end this on is actually showing you the official Game Boy Advance test cartridge that Nintendo used to actually test their Game Boys. I wanna just see what happens when we plug this in because it does do an, a very minor sort of hardware check. So I think it could be quite interesting to see if this is gonna even work, if, if the Game Boy's even gonna play it. So let's plug this into there and we can slot this battery back into here and let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay. Right, well I don't know what the combination is to access the menu. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Look, we're on the test cartridge check and look, it's already failed. It says memory here, fail. Let's see if we can show that again. I'm not sure how to access that menu other than to just go through the uh, the check. Um, on the game where you can press, on the original game where you can press a button combination when you turn it on and it brings up the menu, but every combination I've tried has not worked. But if we get to the ed end of this check, memory, fail, and then LCD, it doesn't finish checking it. So that is interesting. This clone completely fails the test. I suppose what we'll do, very quickly for science, is test this one as well. So let's go through on this one and see what happens. It'd be interesting if the screen fails, because after all, it is an aftermarket screen. And, okay, yeah. Woo, hang about, key input fail. Maybe, maybe it was, maybe it's because this button was, was being pressed down accidentally. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, it passed. Yeah, it looks like as though the problem was the fact that the B button was being pressed down. So yeah, there we go. This one passes, completely legit, other than the screen and the case and the fact that it wasn't sold by Nintendo. Sorry to this little thing. We didn't even bother opening it. It's just gonna look so crap. I suppose, oh, I suppose it is nice to see that it is a uh, an actual Game Boy Advance battery in there or, or another aftermarket one. Look, just because I feel bad for this thing, we're gonna open it up because I do actually feel kind of mean that we're like, we don't even wanna see it because I'm sure this Game Boy would have its feelings hurt if, uh, if, it, if, it, if it could have feelings. Maybe it does, maybe Toy Story is real. This video, by the way, that I made about these three clone Game Boys got like 600,000 views on Facebook, which is hilarious. Um, there we go. Wow, cheap motherboards. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want uh, to subscribe, yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, if not, then enjoy the rest of your day.